I'm Eric. And today we are in a very exciting place. We are at Leon Paul Fencing Center. Which was found in 1921. And it's nearly 100 years. years. And it's the only fencing center that is run by Olympic fencers. Yes. And today we are here with John, who is going to be explaining to us more about the sport and Yes, John. We John, are very happy to be here. Thank you for having us here. Great to be here. And I just would like to tell them just a little bit about fencing. Yeah, fencing is um, one of the founding Olympic sports. It was at the very first Olympic Games and it will be in Rio in 2016. So it's really exciting. Um, there's three weapons, foil, epee and sabre. I was an epeeist, so today we're going to be doing epee. All right. I'm very excited to know about it. Yes, let's do it. Okay guys, let's talk about the kit. You can fence in your current trainers, absolutely no problem at all. So um, then, fencing, very traditional. So of course we need the, uh, the knee-high socks there for you. And we fence in breeches, which again, nice pair of trousers for you there. <laughs> the sport is basically you're trying to hit each other with swords. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be very safe. So we wear two jackets on the top. We wear a half jacket, which is called a plastron. So you can imagine, that's a half sleeve, half jacket. Mm -hmm. So if you're right-handed, you protect the right-hand side. And on top of the plastron, you wear a fencing jacket. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason this is so strong, apart from the material, is because um, the seams. The weak point of any jacket is the seam. Okay? The material is really strong. If it's going to fail, it'll fail on a seam. Mm -hmm. So there's no seam on top of a seam. So if one fails, the other won't. So uh, very safe very sport. Safe. Yeah, no problem. You'll need this, which is called a body wire. So I'm sure when you've seen fencing, when you score a touch, red or green lights go on. This will conduct the signal from your sword, which is just here. So you can see at the end of the tip here, there's a switch. There's two wires ring down the blade. They come out here, you'll plug in here. That'll go under your jacket and plug into a spool. So every time you make a touch, the scoring system will know, so you, don't have, you can't cheat. This is the mask. Again, this is, this is um, really strong mesh. It's called 1600 Newton resistance, which means you've got to hit it really hard for it to break. And again, and it's all angled, so if you do hit it, the blade gets deflected off. Mm -hmm. And again, super safe. And finally, obviously for your sword hand, you need a glove. Right. That is it. Well, so let's go get changed. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, before we do any sword work, we're going to learn how to move and do some footwork. You're currently stood on a fencing piece. It's 14 meters long, one and a half meters wide, and it's made of metal. First things first, put your right foot forward and your back leg turn to 90 degrees. Bend your knees, weight down the middle. Perfect, Just hold that position. Now, to step forward, very simple. Pick up your front foot, put it down, and bring your back foot with it. Excellent, so step forward. Great, stepping backwards, exactly the same, just the opposite. So pick up your back leg, push off your front toe, and complete a step. Okay, now we need to know how to attack somebody. Traditional way to attack someone in fencing is, as you've seen before, a lunge. So you're in your nice on guard positions. First things first, straighten the arm. Then you pick up your front leg and push with your back leg. Perfect. You want to keep the back leg where, on the back foot where it was. So you, you, that's your attack finish. Now you want to recover. You start by bending this knee and push off your front toe and back in your on guard position. I'm going to get my coaching kit on and you can practice hitting me before we have a mini competition and you can hit each other. This is my favorite handle and the most common. It's called a pistol grip because, as you can see, it looks like a gun. Okay, and you hold it very similar. These two bottom plates here. That's where your two little fingers go. So you put your two fingers there. Then your next two fingers go underneath as well and your thumb goes flat on top. It's like you're holding a gun. So now Eric and Priscilla are gonna go head to head in the final competition to see who's the best fencer. On guard, please. Ready, play. Oh, on guard. 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 Ready, play.
Out. On guard. Ready? Play. Out. Play. On guard. Ready? Play. Out. Sheesh. Point. And victory. Well done, guys. Great fencing. Eric, some great tactics there of being defensive, then a surprise attack. Priscilla, you're just too nice. Next time, just go and hit him. Yes, I will. Well, of talk, we had a marvelous time here together, right? Yes, it was really nice, really fun. You're tired. <laughs> You're very tired. And I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone at Leonpo, right? Yes, and if you'd like to know more about this fascinating place, you can check here. The On website. your screen, all right? See you. Bye-bye.